Yeah, I can't really do the rest of the notes there. Hello guys, again with the Samurai here, and welcome back to more Ocarina of Time. So, um, yeah, last part, we went about and got here. I got more ammo for the slingshot, and yeah. So, now I'm going to wait for it to become daytime so that I can enter in here, because if you come in here at night, um, I might show anyway, so let's jump across. Um, try to crawl through here. Um, yeah. So, as you can see, there are guards right there. So, we can't really move on right now. Um, we need to wait until daytime. Um, so, let's chill out and wait. Probably gonna speed up this part. All right, now it is daytime, guys. So let's get up here and climb through this. Alright, so this part of the game is pretty easy to clear through, um, but just be careful anyway. You need to sneak past all of these guards, so that is uh, one priority. Um, just keep tabs on their patterns, um, just make sure not to walk in front of them. You can walk behind them, just uh, be sure to keep out of their line of sight. Um, yeah. Pretty simple. <laughs> oh man, that N64 water. Yeah, you can go down there for like an easy amount of rupees, but uh, I'm just gonna attempt to walk across this. Again, the, the GameCube sensitivity is going to make walking this platform a bit of a nightmare. I'm barely holding the analog stick. There we go. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, this statue looks great in Ocarina of Time 3D. Um, but, yeah, no, as it is, we just have flat N64 graphics. <laughs> right, let's walk behind him. Hopefully, the other guy doesn't catch up. Okay, come on. Alright, sorry if there was some noise. Um, whoa, okay, I don't know how he did not see me there. Again, 20 degree vision, guys. Oh, that's right, one is way faster than the other one. I, I'm not sure which one is the fast one. Um, but yeah, no. Okay, I think it's that one that I'm behind. But either way, we have cleared this segment. Yeah, if you get caught, you won't be sent too far back. You'll just be sent uh, out of, you know, the crawl space. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, Zelda's Courtyard. Um, you can see some nice little Easter eggs over here. So if you look in here, look there, you see some, uh, Mario 64 paintings. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, if you shoot a slingshot in here, which this is pretty funny. Hey you, don't cause any trouble. Okay, moving out of the way. So, yeah, that happens. Uh, let's go talk to Zelda. Exclamation mark. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Well, honestly, if you guys hired people with more than 20 degree vision, this probably would not be a problem. Oh? What's that? Who's that? A fairy? Uh, yes. Then are you... are you from the forest? Um, yes. Then, then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Um, maybe. Do you have it? I, I guess, yes. <laughs> Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. 
but suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy, but someone would come from the forest. Or you just had a really wacko dream. Y you didn't really think that would be a thing? Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. Well, I, I gathered that. What is your name? Um, uh, Link. Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. <laughs> it's a secret to everybody. <laughs> the legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Fair enough. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. Sorry, you heard that. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And, in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Oh, it's the title of the game, guys! Look. <laughs> Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes. That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. That's not creepy. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window in at him? Uh, okay. I'm sure he looks like a completely normal individual with not any sort of evil traits to him whatsoever, so he could be in this castle. No, okay. <laughs> so did you mean uh, uh, black clouds as in the fact that he's black? Because honestly, that is an incredibly racist judgment there, my friend. Um, but anyway. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. Oh, I would totally trust someone who looks like that. Just saying. <laughs> the dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Oh gosh. What happened? Did he see you? Uh, I guess so. Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. You shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. 
Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Okay. You received Zelda's letter. Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph. <laughs> Set it to C and show it with C. On the select item subscreen, you can blah blah blah. It's just like every other item. I can read. Thank you. Okay. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Okay, well, okay, someone's here. <laughs> Let's go talk to her. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. Honestly, we all thought she was crazy, but then, I don't know, we have some green punk walk through the castle. Anyway. You are a courageous boy. You are heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Well, that's a bizarre noise you're making with your mouth, my friend. A very bizarre noise, indeed. Well, anyway. Yeah, so that is uh, Zola's Lullaby. A staple theme in the series that actually started in Link to the Past, not this game. But... Um, of course, since this one was the most successful Zelda, actually I think it continues to be the most successful Zelda, um, this is where people know it from. You've learned Zelda's Lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Okay. Well, I guess we're back at Hyrule Field. You brave lad, you must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Okay, then. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up the Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Oh snap. Someone just ninja her way out of here. Right. But anyway, let's head over to Kakariko Village. <laughs> Yeah, you can head there on your own later, but you can't really progress, so, yeah. Um, one thing that I remember Ego Raptor in particular having a lot of complaints about this game, I, I really shouldn't talk about Super Lightus that much, um, but is how he dislikes how the game doesn't let you explore right off the bat, um, which I don't think is a problem in my opinion, because quite honestly, I like context to my adventure. Like, I mean, it is fine to just be some hero wandering around and stuff, but, you know, quite honestly, for me anyway, it gives me no reason to care for what's going on if I don't understand what is going on. You know what I mean? Like, if I was just told, you know, hey, I want to collect this stuff, it's like, that's fine and all, but that doesn't mean I can't take the time to understand what's going on in the world. Um, and if you're wondering why I did that, let's talk to her. My cookies have run away. Please catch six more. Okay. Actually, well, this is the annoying thing is that uh, you have to go around and find these chickens. You get uh, an item for doing this. So, yeah. Um, let's just get this out of the way. <laughs> I know where all of them are located by heart. This is a really easy quest to do. Um, let's go up here. Um, there's a chicken. 
way over here, so let's grab it. Yoink! And jump off here. Now, I could uh, sequence break and get this one heart piece I'm not supposed to get yet, but it is kind of cheating, so eh. I won't do it, guys. Um, but I might showcase how, if you guys are curious. <laughs> eh. Uh, it is kind of cheating. If I ever do, like, a, a live stream or something, I might do it. But since it's cheating, I'm probably not going to show you guys. Um, like you saw, there was a guy on top of that roof. That's important later, unless you do what you know I'm talking about. You can look up uh, speed runs and stuff for how people do it and how I do it. Um, there's a lot of uh, you know manipulations you can do with the game uh, with Link's abilities. That they never really think through, or if they do think through, they're just kind of like, hey. This will be a fun thing, and, you know, it's a good thing. I like that. Um, but anyway, let's grab this. Wait, did I grab the other chicken already? I have actually not been paying attention. I've just been talking. Um, let's see. So I took that one. Yeah, I think I got it. Okay. Right. So onward. Um, yeah, there's a few more chickens left. Um, we're going- well, cuckoos. I should say cuckoos. Um, oh, speaking of cuckoos. So, I have actually picked up Hyrule Warriors. I don't know if I mentioned that, and I've been playing it a lot. Um, the game is really fun, and it's really good. Um, and I'm already kind of dating the video. Um, well, maybe not. But, regardless, you know, Hyrule Warriors is pretty great. Except for this one mission in the adventure mode, where... They just have this cuckoo on the battlefield that follows you around, and it's like just waiting for you to accidentally attack the thing, at which point you lose the battle, because the stupid cuckoo brings upon an army to attack you, and it just doesn't stop following you, so even if you avoid attacking it, it's still going to keep following you. And you have to keep tabs on it. I lost that battle like twice because of that stupid thing. And, uh, anyway though, good game. It's just, boy. Um, let's move forward. And there we go. There's the chicken coop. Throw it in. Right. So there's not like a ridiculous amount of chickens. It's just some of them are a little bit weirder to figure out where they, uh, are located um but yeah so i think there's one more let's uh find it i think it's over here um yeah there it is yeah no reason why it's there but okay no oh my gosh did i really just do that i just made him respawn gosh no! Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that, guys. Oh, that's terrible. Darn it. Ah, oh. Speed up. Wait, what? They're all there? Oh! I thought that respawned them. Oh, I guess that's it then. Let's go talk to her. My cuckoos have run away. Please help me bring the last one back to this pen. Okay, where is that one then? Could have sworn I got it. Got them all. Could have sworn. Uh, where is it? Okay. Um, hmm, I'm listening for it. Uh, hold on a second. What the heck? Actually, the really annoying thing that's like super tempting when I'm playing this right now is that um the game is still like using like just the target button camera um okay screw having to backtrack to grab it um I'm just gonna climb up here and I'll show you guys what I do I I, I said I was going to not going to do this but you know what this is just the faster way so um here's what you do you hold the lock on and then you dash hold on it okay yeah if you do it just right uh link will grab onto the fence 
or he'll land on it. I, I'm one or the other. Um, so let's go up here. Yeah, I could use the chicken, but I'm saving time by doing this. There we go. I did it. Okay. Now where is it? Where is that stupid chicken? Cucky. There it is. Okay. Found you. Punk. Yeah, um, if you were to, uh, get on that fence and then, uh, climb back up and talk to that guy, um, you would get a heart piece. Um, but that's for later. Um, I probably shouldn't have even said that. But, uh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Okay. There we go. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike for this music, by the way. I had this happen in Link to the Past. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Then why are you a farmer? If you're helping me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass and should be useful. Please take good care of it. I got an empty bottle. Well, thanks, Anju. Actually, really, thanks. I, I, am, I, I am grateful for this bottle. Um, but anyway, I think uh, we're approaching the end of this part, so uh, yeah. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this series. I'm having a blast. It's my childhood game. I know this front to back. And, uh, well, actually, I think I'm spending a little bit of time. Let's head over here. Let's see what's over here. I don't think the graphics are supposed to look like that right there, though. Graveyard. Yeah. So, there's a thing hidden here. You know what? Um, okay, I might take care of that this part. Um, yeah, let's do that. I don't care if it's a little bit longer. We'll go grab it. <laughs> Sorry that I started the outro, but hey, I want to keep playing for a little bit here. So, let's go over here. Actually, let's see what Navi has to say first. The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. We're only told to play this one song every time uh, we see this. Yeah, I could play that song really fast on the N64 controller because it's actually buttons and not a C stick. But, yeah, that's what I have to deal with. Oh well, things are getting rainy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was kind of a crazy shot. <laughs> oh yeah, it's also Halloween in a couple, like, this week, so... Hey, there you go. There's your spooks. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I have no tact for this. <laughs> Let's just move onward. So, okay, there's a peace killer. <laughs> Okay, so there are plenty of keys hidden throughout the room. Um, you want to take them out before they start flying because they just end up everywhere. There we go. Got them all. The door opens. Climb up. Yeah. I'm um, offering up time 3D. That room is a little bit different. It's not like much, but it is. Um, let's head behind these things. These are re-deads. I hate these things so much. Okay. Yeah, they do like this scream thing and they will walk towards you very slowly. Okay, this is gonna hurt a lot, but I'll show you what they do. Uh, come on, just move away. Uh, oh god. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Okay, moving. So yeah, um, they do this scream that paralyzes you and you have to mash buttons to get off. Um, but anyway, let's head over here. Check. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem. Huh? Oh, I think that was Navi reading that. Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. 
チョロデュチョロデュチョロデュいやだしたチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュチョロデュ